you can see it in the orange cones. Fitchburg has boomed over the last couple of decades and continues to now. Corridors once with open space are now busy intersections and thriving businesses. But with success comes change and with change comes growing pains, sometimes at a price. This year, I'm going to have to figure out a way to redesign it and put it in. Debbie Paul has gotten pretty comfortable on County Highway PD. Oh, I may have to move my office building and put the displays there. Who wouldn't after more than 20 years in one spot? I, I just don't feel that there's a good alternative out there. So the prospect of moving all of this rock doesn't sit well with Paul. When we moved here, our business increased. Our customers could find us much easier. It was a great, it was a great move. Since then, Fitchburg got, well, busier. The farm fields around Midwest Stone have been paved over, torn up, tractors replaced by bulldozers. And while increased traffic can be good for business, Paul says a path will cause problems. We can't have this berm, this blocking the view of our business. You might as well just close our doors. Paul says initially the plan was to let bikers off of the bridge on the other side of the road. But the DOT decided to run the ramp right in front of her displays. Displays sell materials. Growth is good. But growth, managed growth, is the key. Fitchburg Mayor We're Sean Pfaff says the plans and potential pains of that growth have been clearly communicated to those along Verona Road and PD. But we've also let them know that there's going to be, have to be a few changes here and there, and there's going to have to be a little bit of give and take. We have to tear all these things down. Paul just hopes um, the price of growing pains we, aren't too expensive to bear. You lose business when you move. You know, wholesale warehouses, they can move anywhere, but we can't. Mayor Pfaff told us the DOT made the decision to build the bike ramp next to Paul's business since they make the engineering calls and they're paying for the project. Paul says she's bracing not only for her business to be blocked, but also for the city or state to buy up that display space you just saw.